All right, you ask, I deliver. You can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about Jasmine, giving you guys a brief analysis as to what is happening today specifically, and of course, what can be happening for Jasmine in the upcoming days ahead of us. You guys are absolutely killing it with the support. You can pretty much see, you know, it is honestly, I'm going to be quite frank with you, it is tough to make this many updates at once, but, you know, just when I see that um, crazy amount of feedback, your support, you know, just fuels me. So continue supporting like that and you will continue to see these updates that you guys enjoy a lot. So looking at Jasmine, it's down about 4.3%. You know, as we did start off the week, we did see Bitcoin see a little bit of a minor pullback. But believe it or not, Jasmine had a great day today. And as you guys know, before we go any further, I'm 100% neutral. If things look bearish, I will completely say it's bearish. If things look bullish, I'm going to say they look bullish. And you guys know that, especially my supporters have been following me from the beginning. But let's take a look at what's happening with Jasmine on the closer time scale. But what I want you guys to keep in mind is the weekly time frame. You know, Jasmine is one of the top gainers right now on the weekly time frame of 28.4%. And then you can pretty much see across the board, take a look across the board, you are seeing mainly red while Jasmine is up 28.4%. So, you know, if you're a holder, you want to be getting excited about these types of moves. And your boy Crypto ZX was able to identify that bullish move momentum in Jasmine's recovery that we did start seeing just a few days back. But let's take a closer look, see what is happening and um, what could be possibly the next target. But before we do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer for everyone. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency. So looking at the price, 2.69 cents. Um, you know, pretty much 2.7 cents in my books, down about 4.1% over the past 24 hours in USD compared to Ethereum and Bitcoin comparative. Market cap $1.28 billion and the 24-hour trading volume considering a $340 million. So not bad as far as the price is concerned, but let's take it a step further and see what is happening. Um, before I do that, though, as always, just a quick disclaimer. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency. So looking at the price, um, actually, before we check out the price, I want you guys to pay very close attention to the Bitcoin dominance. You know, despite the fact that, you know, we did see Bitcoin seeing a little bit of a minor pullback um, as we started off the week, you're still seeing, you're still seeing the dominance going down like this. And that's lovely to see, especially if you're an altcoin holder, this should be uh, giving you excitement inside. <laughs> so we'll definitely take that right now. And definitely if you are part of the meme coin market as well, and you have diversified your portfolio and you have some meme coin, I'm sure you are seeing and you're noticing that the meme coins are actually holding really good and that is due to dominance going down and i think a lot of money from bitcoin is flowing into meme coin market right now um and um yeah that's just if you look at the history of the uh, meme coin market over the last seven days it speaks for itself but anyhow let's take a look at what's happening with btc let's give it a refresh live to see uh so if you're looking at btc right now 67.8 um obviously it has seen a little bit of a minor pullback we are sitting at some key very very key level of support you can see this for yourself if this key level of support is able to uh you know lose we could be making our way down to obviously the 67 2 zone and if that were to be lost a 65k support could be in the play as well it's not out of the woods so that's something i want you guys to keep in mind but so far so good uh, as far as Jasmine is concerned, you can see this for yourself. So we were able to break out uh, into a new yearly high. Of course, we discussed that yesterday. And um, you know, after the video, you did see Jasmine reaching almost three cents mark, and we weren't able to do so. Of course, three cents psychological price one, right? Um, and um, traders what do traders do they know psychological price point and they know what kind of effect that has so you know what sophisticated traders usually tend to do is just lock in profits just a little bit before that because if you're noticing it you know we were about four percent away for us to reach three cents price point which we honestly haven't seen that kind of dates back to 2022 so it's been over two years over two years uh, since the last time Jasmine was at three cents, of course, you know, psychological price point. And, um, you know, this does not surprise me at the fact that just before that, we did see a little bit of a minor pullback. But what is exciting right now is the fact that as the price is, um, you know, pulling back, seeing a little bit of a minor pullback, which, of course, you can see on the daily time frame, you know, the previous 
the previous yearly high, which again was our support at one time, is I'm sorry, which was a resistance at one point is playing as a level of support. So let's take a look at it on the hourly time frame so you will really understand. And, you know, I'm starting to notice a very similar price pattern playing out for a lot of coins across the board. Um, you know, this upwards trajectory, I think you'll be able to see it on the daily time frame if I were to bring it in for you guys. Hold on. Let's take a look at it. So here, take a look at this pretty much from just just the performance since May. So the May is coming to an end, but, you know, we are definitely uh, seeing this shift in momentum and your boy sensed this early on I sensed it around this range that was speaking to me you could clearly see this for yourself it actually did end up playing out and we did see Jasmine break out not only uh, to uh, you know yearly uh, our yearly high which was the current one we hit a new yearly high so a lot of excitement definitely uh, you know it did react to that Bitcoin pullback but um, you know right now I'm looking positive for Jasmine's price action I think there is more upside left and the market cap is still low uh, considering the hype factor that Jasmine has around itself right now and I do believe that there is more upside for itself right now but we're gonna take it one step at a time do let me know down below what you guys currently think and before anyone goes I want you guys to pause the video and let me know what excites you the most about Jasmine. That's what I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below. But uh, with that being said, it's been CryptoZX and peace out.